Hi everyone, welcome to the Graceful Skinny Vlogs. I hope everyone has had a fabulous Thanksgiving. And now I have a look at the book Phonics Pathways. It is the phonics book that Timberdoodle has set for the first grade curriculum. I got my hands on this last year before I was really sure about the Hooked on Phonics for like three or so box used from somebody in a local homeschool group. Um, I don't think it's going to work for us, but you never know who it will look, work for. And so I thought I would give a look into it. Um, a couple of things. Um, it is very black and white. So for those that find pictures and lots of intent to other things distracting for your children or that doesn't engage them the way they need to, this is probably a better fit. Um, my daughter got kind of excited about it when she thought it was a coloring book. Um, I pulled this out so that I could um, do this, this review. And um, she was like, oh, a coloring book. Thanks, mom. And um, was kind of disappointed when I told her that, no, it's not a coloring book. And no, she doesn't get to keep it. Um, we'll probably keep it on hand to have. Um, there are a couple things. In the beginning, there's a lot of how-tos and things on that. Um, it does say, according to the chart, that this does go through from first grade all the way through fourth grade. And because it apparently goes all the way through fourth grade, that might explain why I keep hearing people get frustrated halfway through the book. Because um, if you have a first grader and you're trying to push fourth grade curriculum, I can see how that might be a problem. And no, this is the only mention of what grade level things are at. Um, in Within these this part of the book, um, there is no you're entering first grade material, you're entering second grade material, you're entering third or fourth grade material. And I don't really like that because if having that you're entering this age bracket material, if the child is being overwhelmed and you're pushing it and you're in a for teaching a first grade or a third grade curriculum, then that's not too bad. But if you think you're teaching a first grade or first grade curriculum and they're getting too overwhelmed, that kind of gives a false sense of failure as a parent that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, another big hit against it that I, I, I'm i on the fence about is it has, and I read this section about dys dyslexia. And while I, am not, I myself am not dyslexic and neither is my daughter, um, I do have ADHD. And one of my pet peeves with ADHD is always the categorizing of, oh, you're just, you're just diagnosed with ADHD. You really don't have ADHD. Or, oh, people just say you're this, you're struggling with a learning disability, but you don't really have a learning disability. You can fix it by doing these other things. And it sounds great, but if you, it marginalizes. And this is actually kind of what it says. And it's trying to justify, and in, in some of this, it actually says that most a dyslexia isn't really dyslexia. And I kind of get where it's going. And there's some things that I go, oh, I can kind of see where you're going. But if I was a parent of a dyslexic, I would be throwing this book away just from this section alone. Um, so yeah, that's a big hit against it. Um, we like I said, are thrilled with our Hooked on Phonics. It's a little bit more of a full, fluid curriculum that's not just solely phonics. It does phonics and sight words and a proper blend, and it keeps her at a level that she can be engaged in and give her confidence in build, reading actual, actual books. Um, but yeah, so... I hope this has helped you get a quick look at um, what the Timberdoodle has. I certainly don't, I, I'm, I'm torn on whether we'll keep this around or not. Part of me wants to, especially knowing that this goes through fourth grade, because um, the Hooked on Phonics ends at second. And so I might wait until we finish our Hooked on Phonics and see if how we feel about this. Um, but yeah, so if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe to and turn on your notifications to follow along with us. And um, 
for everybody else, leave your comments down below if you have any experience with this. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.